Hi lovelies, welcome back once again to Phoebe's Kitchen and I believe you are all doing great. Thanks for returning. I appreciate you all. Today, I want to share with you how to make this extremely delicious vegetable stock cube or all-purpose stock cube and I hope you like it. The ingredients put together are healthy, simple to find in your kitchen and they make amazing recipes. So please stay tuned and be inspired. Don't forget to like, share, comment on the video to support your girl. And I will always appreciate it, yeah? And hey, if it's your first time ever seeing my video, I hope you'll be inspired to join this amazing family. Don't forget to also recommend this channel to families and friends who may like my recipes. All right, so family, without wasting my time, let's begin. Here I have some of my favorite herbs and vegetables, plus some seasonings. Over there I've got coriander leaves, rosemary, basil, chives, thyme, parsley, spring onion, coriander seeds, black peppercorns, cucumber, I've got celery, I've got limes, I've got some more of my herbs here as well. And now I've got my green and red bell peppers. I've got red paprika, green paprika. I've got ginger, garlic. I've got carrots. Beautiful, lovely. You can use any vegetables and seasonings of your choice and you'll be good to go, okay? So next, I'm going ahead to transfer everything into my sink and then guys, we will continue from there. So keep watching and go nowhere. So here we go, beautiful. So I have all these vegetables in my fridge and they have been there for quite a long time. And if I don't use them anytime soon, they could go bad. And to avoid that, I decided to use them for this vegetable or all purple stock cubes. And I must say I made the right decision. I've added my vinegar and salt for cleansing, okay? So I'll soak them for about 40 minutes and after that I'll come back and wash them thoroughly for about five times. And here we are, we are all done. They've been washed nicely. I've cut them as well. They look good. They smell good. And all of the vegetables I introduced to you are here representing. And they are nicely arranged on the tray. So lovelies, at this point, I'm going ahead to add cooking oil to them just like so and after that I'll take all of them into the oven to roast them for a few minutes and I'll bring them back okay a few minutes later we are back and they release their flavors together and I love the aroma lovelies I'll let them cool down completely and after that we'll go ahead and blend them until nice and smooth and we've achieved that so into the blender they go just like so to support your girl please don't forget to like share for others to see and don't forget to comment for me to know your thoughts about the recipe okay i'm not adding my black peppercorns next my coriander seeds you can as well roast them if you'd like and that's even a game changer i didn't roast mine because i was thinking of opting them out but later changed my mind again to add them that is why okay so now we are done blending and look how beautiful and smooth this is from here i'll proceed to add it to my frying pan but before that i've added oil which is optional i will go ahead rinse the blender and add it back to the frying pan just like this give it a gentle stir and then add salt to taste just like so and again i will stir on so well combined and after that i'll cover it up for it to simmer down until all the water dry out and until they release their flavors together. Here we are after 30 minutes and this looks so thick and I love the outcome. Beautiful aroma and flavor. So next in a tray, I've added my greaseproof paper and I'm adding all the mixed vegetable paste to it just like this. Next, I will level it up for it to be very nice and smooth, yeah? And after that, cover it up with the excess greaseproof paper, just like I'm doing. Mmm, this smells really, really good, lovelies. 
I hope you give this a try. So now into the freezer it goes. We are back after some days. You can bring it out at any time that you prefer. Even in the same day after some few hours, you are good to go. But now it took days because I was so, so busy. And I also made another one using only herbs, celery, limes, green bell peppers, green paprika, and some few seasonings. And the result is amazing. I didn't put the ingredients in the oven like I did with the first one. I only sauteed the ingredients, blended them, and then I put them back in the saucepan. Make sure all the water dry out. And this is the result. Extremely yummy. So now I'm back with the first one. I'm going ahead to cut it into cubes. And it's up to you which size you're going for. I'm going for a medium size. You can go for small, small cubes. It's all by choice and preference. Okay? Lovelies. So far, if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, share for others to see. Don't forget to comment for me to know your thoughts about the recipe. Okay? So now check this out. Isn't this nice? I love the shape. You can even go further and cut it into two if you'd like. As I said earlier, the size is all by choice and preference. Now to preserve them, I've already cut my kitchen foil into pieces and I'm putting them into them just like this. Close them and ta-da! Beautiful! That's how I preserve them and you can never go wrong. So now we are on the second one. Repeat the same process. Put them in the kitchen foil and lovely you are good to go. And mmm, the aroma is so magical. The flavor is amazing. Talk of the ingredients put together. You don't need to go there. They are really, really amazing. So you can just imagine the outcome so heavenly. So far, lovelies, if you are enjoying the video, please don't forget to recommend this channel to families and friends who may like my recipes. So far, so good. We are at the final stage of our video. And I hope you've been inspired. For more of these, please follow me on Instagram. Like and follow my Facebook page. Follow me as well on TikTok and Twitter for more updates. Don't forget to give this a try and thank me later. With your feedback by tagging me on Instagram or commenting down below my Facebook and YouTube videos. And going forward, I want to say a very big thank you to all my followers and subscribers for always sharing my videos, commenting on my videos, liking my videos. I can't thank you enough. The love is so deep and I appreciate you all. God richly bless you. So finally, I'm putting all my stock cubes in my storage bag and into the freezer they go. I'll use them as and when they are needed. Okay. <laughs> and now, families, one of the properties of the stock cube is that you should be able to dissolve completely in warm or hot water that's what i'm doing as you can see it's dissolving right before our eyes and that's a really good sign oh lovely is the aroma you need to be here beautiful thanks for watching see you all again in my next video until then stay blessed stay safe be good take care and enjoy toodles peace out